Hello and welcome back. So in this video, uh, we are going to generate keys. Very, very interesting. Uh, if you want to follow along with your uh, Kali Linux, you can see the instructions here and down here. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we're gonna power on our Linux. And it's already there. Okay, so let's give it a second or two. So basically what we are doing here is we are generating a PEM, a private key. Then we are going through uh, a key pair and finally generating a public key. So where is it uh, important? If uh, you want to make a home lab setup and you want to be able to SSH from one computer to another, you, what you will do is basically you will store your public key onto that computer where you want to have um, the SSH access so let's go here let's start doing the make it a little bit bigger and type in the commands so it says execute the following command to generate the random private RSA key and save it as a PEM key as a PEM file so open SSL oh what was that uh open v no idea what it was new password is equal to u certify maybe that are the credentials for the uh, this uh, like if i log out i can use these credentials to log back in admin and password as u certify but that's not the point of this video let's go with that open ssl gen generate gen rsa out like output rsa dash key dot pem and the bits 2048 you can see it's saying generating rsa private key that is 2048 bit long <clears throat> now we are going we we have gone to the next uh, command prompt let's generate uh, write the second key that is public key based on the private key so if I don't name it right it will not be able to create a public key because the public key and private key has to be interconnected like there is a link and the public key is always derived from the private key and that's how they work and they can confirm each other hey this is mine or this is not so again open SSL RSA in RSA key.pm so notice in here it was out like we out, outputting and this was in like we're putting an input that this is the key our private key that will give us the public out pub out public out and then again out like we're getting the out what's the out uh, file will be what the output of this command will generate that will be rsa dot public dot pem <coughs> writing rsa key now i have the key so view the key file if i see cat that is for concat rsa dash key dot pem <coughs> it has given me bunch of uh, garbage letter same thing with public key they like uh, they're not identical cat rsa oh rsa pub like dot pen and you can see the public key is much smaller
So now basically you can send this key, you can send it over to somebody, you can store it on a uh, another Linux machine. There is a specific directory where it goes and when you try to connect SSH through uh, a, like from command prompt or from buddy, uh, you don't you keep this one the private one safe you don't share it but when you try to connect based on this uh, key the private key you send some kind of credentials that needs to be matched over there with your public key so that is to prevent anybody else because public key is public everybody has it so nobody can connect as you if they don't have the private key so let's move on to the next one. Next one say chun rate and elliptic curve key pair. So that is different. Uh, again, open SSL ECP elliptic curve pair ARAM ECP ARAM dash list underscore curves and we have something here like I said I cannot make any sense of it like what exactly it is I do know what the ECP is like if you have taken calculus or calculus 2 and you have gone through uh, any exercise in MATLAB you can do like MATLAB is software you can uh, do some cool stuff in there and it makes like these uh, graphs so <clears throat> based on that it's it oh right here it says picking one is a little more complicated than choosing RSA key size so over here we could define the key size we could put it as 256 bit uh, 512 bit we got a quite a bit high over there but with the ECB, uh, the it says it's more complicated. I don't know why. There is no explanation here. I will have to go and read up on it. Let's uh, create the open SSL ECP ARM. What's the name? Is Prime 256 V1. Uh, the reason I'm keeping the name same, like not changing it, because I have at the end I have to. Where is it? right here I have to submit it and get credits for this uh, lab I could get away with it uh, without submitting but then you know I don't like it and dash now we're gonna generate key that is n no out probably I have no idea what that switch means uh, the poor thing about this these labs are there are no explanation so you have to off, after the fact you have to go and s read up on them oh, no, here. okay click here out ECC public dot pen and I um, move to the next uh, prom meaning everything went smooth except for that I was here I and I type change it to this so nope no good let's go back and out ECC key key dot pen next prompt open L and then unfortunately I have to do it again because the next is different ECC again we're getting the we are again giving it the private key ignore this line so ignore we uh, again we are giving it this private key to generate the public key so you can see pop out and see uh, check the difference if I can show you here this says EC here right here like this thing it says EC meaning it's telling the open SSL uh, program that it's an EC uh, Licked it. <laughs> Let's see. Elliptic. Elliptic curve key. So it needs to know what kind of key I'm generating. Uh, if you can see here, uh, we were giving it, telling it it's an RSA, 
right here. So let's go down again. We're gonna get the public key out. And output is ECC underscore public. I did okay. Public dot come on. And not found. What happened is that I have And this uh, virtualized uh, in browser thing I cannot click and go to that prompt I have to press arrow keys millions times all right so it read the EC key and it's writing the EC key I, I am successfully onto the next prompt without any error it means I have both there now let's see the difference between uh, this output uh, what this output like this is the public uh, sorry this is the public this is the private and let's see what kind of output we get from that again cat ECC public dot pem and I have much shorter uh, output then the public key of RSA let's see cat ECC key dot them again surprisingly very surprisingly it's much smaller than an RSA private key and you can see it's actually kind of just maybe a line more less than a line more uh, than a public key now it does say here they're much shorter but due to the strongest uh, stronger EC algorithm they are more secure so that is the power of these that compared to that obviously when you're sending or storing uh, RSA keys they are taking a lot more space imagine the whole wide world, world everybody billions of people having RSA keys uh, what kind of uh, storage requirement for this and it's not like you cannot store it once they have to be stored everywhere and I'm not talking about uh, the private key everybody will have their own private key on their machines but the combined volume of those public keys on every server like Microsoft server is different than Google's or any smaller website so imagine that all right so let's wrap this video here I hope you like this video if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I see you in the next one. All right, it says cracked. I am good to go screen, and I show you what happens uh, if I do this right. Basically, I can go to close, and I get a green check mark. That's all it is, so I, I can actually uh, go to the next one all right let's close it